this week we continue in our series on Can You Hear Me Now? Um, I was here at the Horizon Bells when that, uh, when that phrase comes up, but can you hear me now as we talk about prayer? And last week, Pastor Caleb opened our series with talking about who are we praying to? Who is this God that we call God that we talk with? And coming up in, um, in the next week, we'll, we'll talk also about what happens when those, when those prayers simply go unanswered. We have those dropped calls. Um, which I'm sure no one with a cell phone understands what that's like at all to have one of those dropped calls. But those times when we just feel like there's nothing on the other end and there's just silence. And today we have our, series, our, our sermon is on um, the instruction manual. So how do we pray? Uh, what do you say? When do you say it? How do you pray? Uh, how do you do this thing that we call prayer? And in your bulletins, um, with your announcements, there's, some, there's a place for notes. If you want to take that out and take some notes, of, of things that you would like to pray for or things that you hear that you want to think about. Or I worked with a spiritual director once who she told me um, to keep a notebook by my chair for when I started to wander and when I started to think about my grocery list because um, then I could put it on there and then I would be able to be focused. Uh, sometimes it worked. But uh, so you have that, you have those ways as we open together in prayer. Would you pray with me? God, may the words of my mouth and the meditations of all of our hearts be acceptable in your sight, O Lord, our rock and our redeemer. Amen. So on Monday, it's a life-changing event for me. I'm getting a new phone. You know, this is pretty awesome. Um, and so when I open the box for the first time, uh, when I get that box, the first thing, you know what I'm going to do? Well, first I'm going to do this little dance. <laughs> so I'll do that little dance. And then I'll open it up and I'll take the instruction manual out. And I'll look at it and I'll throw it on the floor. Um, <laughs> and then I'll just push some buttons until I figure out what happens. Uh, so I'm curious just to know how many other folks, uh, when you get something new or you get something you're supposed to put together, how many of y'all take the instruction manual out and really read it? Really? Wow. <laughs> how to do things. Um, but I thought that sometimes, even better than reading it, it's, it's good to have a visual, to have something you can look at. Um, and so I found this uh, video clip that is a great instructional guide on how to pray. Um, so we'll take a look at this and we'll talk about it. South call you, hey Zeus, we thank you so much for this bountiful harvest of dominoes, KFC, and the always delicious Taco Bell. <laughs> I just want to take time to say thank you for my family, my two beautiful, beautiful, handsome, striking sons, Walker and the Texas Rangers, or TR, you call them. And of course, my red hot smoking wife, Carlos, with the stone cold fox. Mm. I also want to thank you for my best friend and teammate, Cal Notton Jr., who's got my back no matter what. Thank you, mate. Dear little baby Jesus, we also thank you for my wife's father, Chip. We hope that you can use your baby Jesus powers to heal him and his horrible leg. It smells terrible, and the dogs are always bothering Dear tiny infant Jesus. Hey, uh, you know, sweetie, Jesus did grow up. You don't always have to call him baby. It's a bit odd, and I'll put in prayer, baby. Well, look, I like the Christmas Jesus best, and I'm saying Jesus. When you say great, you can say the grown-up Jesus, or teenage Jesus, or bearded Jesus, or whoever you want. You know what I want? I want you to do this grace good, so that God will let us win tomorrow. Your tiny Jesus. Your golden fleece diapers with your tiny little fat ball and fist. Oh, he's a man. He had a beard. Look, I like the baby version the best. Do you hear me? I win the race tonight with the money. I like to picture Jesus in a tuxedo t-shirt because it says, like, I want to be formal, but I'm here to party, too. I like to party, so I like my Jesus to party. I like to picture Jesus as a ninja fighting off evil samurai. I like to think of Jesus, like, with giant eagle's wings and singing lead 
vocals for Leonard Skinner with like an angel band, and I'm in the front row. Hey, Cap, why don't you shut up? <laughs> Beer, eight pound, six ounce. <laughs> don't even know a word yet. This little infant so cuddly, mm. but still omnipotent. Mm. We just like to throw races on one and $21.2 million. Woo! 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 Ow! Love that money! That I have accrued over this past season. Also, due to a binding endorsement contract that stipulates I mentioned Powerade at each grace, I just want to say that Powerade is delicious mm. and cools you off on a hot summer day. We look forward to Powerade's release of Mystic Mountain Blueberry. Mm. Thank you for all your power and your grace, dear baby dog. God, I may have even hurt you. And so we have these prayers of confession that 